Now, we have to define these in our top-level module in order to use them. So let's create another input for our switches. As you may have guessed, uh, the first number right here in these brackets signifies the most significant bit that we're using for this input, and this is the least significant bit. So we are selecting pins zero through, or pins three through zero on the SW bus, which will include three, two, one, and zero. That's all four. Um, make note that you have to have a comma after these, except for the last one. We're also going to have an output for our LED array. No comma after this one, since this is the last one that we are defining. Likewise, this selects LEDs 7 through 0, which is all 8 of them. And for our first project, we are going to create just a very simple AND gate that uses two switches and signals on one LED what the AND of those two signals is. We are going to use an assign statement. This is something that doesn't really execute, it doesn't get triggered by the clock signal or anything, but rather this happens in real time. It's like a physical connection, so at whatever point in time it is, whether or not it's directly on the clock signal, 5 nanoseconds in front of the clock signal, 8 picoseconds in front of the clock signal, it doesn't matter when this happens, it happens because it's physically connected. Assign LED 0, which is going to be the rightmost LED, it's the least significant one, equals an AND of switch 0, and switch 1. So we are telling this LED it is connected to an AND gate that has a switch 0 and switch 1 as inputs. So when these two switches are both high, then this LED will be lit up. When one of these is low, this LED will be not lit. However, there's one important thing we have to do before we can uh, use this file, and that is we have to assign all outputs a value. We can have inputs that don't actually connect anything, but outputs must be connected to a value. So I'm going to assign the rest of the LEDs, which is LED 7 through 1, I'm going to set them all to low. Now how I'm going to do that is specify how many digits I'm going to be assigning here. An apostrophe, then a B, specifying that the following is a binary value. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I've created a binary value of 7 digits with all zeros. 7 through 1 will be always not lit, and zero will be the result of the AND gate. Let's go ahead and create a programming file based on the code that we've given. This part takes a while, especially as your project gets more complex, so this is where that fast computer requirement comes into play. You can see as long as this is taking for such a simple project, this computer is clocked at 4.06 gigahertz. Okay, no errors, but you will see warnings. These warnings are all related to the fact that I have inputs which aren't used, aren't connected to anything. So these are okay, this was expected. I did not use all of the switches, I did not use clock, but I will soon. 